Hi there, I'm Becky Volout. I am a Creative Memories Advisor from Newport News, Virginia, and it's Tuesday. I think this is my second week in a row that I actually did my Tuesday tip on Tuesday. You should be very proud of me. So today what I'm going to be talking about are the must-have embellishments. There was one of these packs that came out first. It was one of four. That means we're going to have four, right? <laughs> and um, we recently came out with the second one. So if you don't have these little guys, you might want to get them. And I know some of you have Cricut and, and that's all good and fine. But when I had my Cricut, I ruined an awful lot of paper trying to do those things. <laughs> and these have already been done for us. So it's a nice little inexpensive thing to keep around. So let me just give you some really fun tips about these. First of all, um, if you open up your packets, there are all kinds of different um, ones in there. There's ones that have color in the pack too. In pack one, they're um, all white or um, like a dark, you know, they look black or, or maybe chocolate. Um, but the other pack has some color ones in there too. But if you don't have color, it's not a big deal. Um, I'm going to just show you a couple things that I've done with them. Um, so this one is with the new Seascape line. I did um, this double page spread. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the whole double page spread. But I like to show it in case some of you are out there stealing my ideas. And I hope you do. No reason for us to all to think of the ideas. Um, the, the, seas, um, the Seascape line had these big laser cut papers. So this thing right here, it looks really complicated, but this whole thing here was just a piece of paper that I put down. But back to the laser embellishments. Um, this was a little laser embellishment and um, it had little holes in them. And so when you put those down, it's really cool because whatever is behind it shows through. So you can see here how you can see the sand through my little journal box there. Isn't that pretty? I love this line, so super pretty. All right, so that's a nice use of that one. Um, here's another one that I did also with an actual laser paper. Um, and uh, here's the other upside down. Okay, so it looks like this. And, um, and I just added uh, the word snapshots up here in white. It looked really nice um, against this sand because it kind of has like a antique -y edge. Like it's like they've been already um, chalked. Um, I didn't chalk it. It kind of already looks like that. So it looks pretty good um, on that, that finish. Super pretty. Um, and here's another one that I used. I love, love, love this. Um, but I went ahead and added um, this embellishment, Thankful and Blessed, up at the corner here, which is how I feel anytime I go to the beach. I don't know about you, but it's like... Wow, God did a number when he created the oceans and the beaches. All right. Um, and then I made this one. Here's another one of those laser papers. Um, put a little journal box in that one and added a couple shells down here to kind of soup it up even more. Um, and then um, over here you can see my embellishment. Now, um, I wanted it to really pop, so I put the black on the white and, and put it down. So that's a great strategy if your embellishment matches the backing, to just mat it on a different color. But another thing that we can do, especially if the sayings are white, is you can just color them. So um, this one said, Happy Birthday, and I went ahead and used my, um, my bold tip pens, and I colored it. So I'm going to demo that. I know that doesn't sound too hard, but and it's not, no matter how you look at it, but there is ways to make it even easier. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of repositionable tape on the back of this one. It says Traditions, and I'm just going to put it on a scrap piece of paper, and that way it will hold it in place while I color it. So I'm just going to take my pen and color it really fast and that way it doesn't get on my fingers and I don't have to be crazy careful if it goes on the paper you know like you don't have to worry that you're missing it something you know if you're 
getting ink all over your page, but yet you're getting all the edges and so forth. I'm using a bold tip pen here. Actually, it's a dot pen. It's the round tip, the um, the green pen, but it would work really nice with your with your bold tips. So I think I got it. And then once you're done, you're ready to add it to your page. Now, if you watched my tip last week, I um, showed you how to do this really pretty layout where we um, used our leaf pattern to go from one side of the page to the other to tie the page in. Well, since then, I have completed this page. Um, and now all I need to do is add my little saying. And as you recall, I put repo on there. And the whole idea behind repositionable tape is that you actually can reposition it. So now I can take it off of that card and put it here where I intended it. And now this beautiful word matches my page perfectly. Is that cool? Um, one other thing that I want to show you before I go. Um, I got this from one of my clients, actually. Um, um, Beth Moore and Deanna Mornick, they both have gotten really into these binders where they use these little pockets to store our words. Um, so what I did is I opened up both packs of my words. Say hi to Gracie. She's barking in the background. Um, um, but... Um, I put little words on my little pockets. This is um, these fill and stash binders are on back order. So if you don't see them, don't worry. They're coming back, I think, the beginning of September. Um, if you have another advisor, it could be they actually have some of these left. Um, I have some of the inserts left, but I do not have any of the binders left. But they'll be back in September. And the cool thing about these is they they fit in our, um, in our folders. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, give me a second. Um, these folders that we put in other organization, um, they, they drop right into them. So if you like this idea and you're wait, while you're waiting for your binder, you can go ahead and get some of these to go ahead and, and sort them and organize them. But what I did is I just wrote on them with a, with a Sharpie that these are my cards. These are, um, these are ones for family and friends. These are ones that have to do with memories. These are love ones. I wrote home and traditions on this one. Um, over here, I wrote celebrations, faith, anytime. Ones that I, you know, if you just want one for any kind of page, I wrote anytime on that and then travel on that. And that way, um, they're easy for me to find. Um, if you haven't experienced these binders before, we also have ones to store borders that you may have made. Um, I like um, to store my jumbo circle in mine because it doesn't really fit well anywhere else um, and I like to also put my recipe templates in these so that I can quickly find them so anyways it's a great little storage binder um, and uh, I hope that you will take advantage of that as soon as it comes back but that's all I got today I hope that you enjoyed that tip and we'll go try it out thanks so much for watching bye I love my dramatic ending.